basically just trying to connect four. Oh, okay. Pretty much, but it's a magnetic one. So it gets kind of confusing whenever they're flip-flopping all around to remember which one you need there, if you need your square or the partner's circle there. You know, actually, I take that back about the meth thing. It kind of looks like uh, tubes in the back of an amp or something. Yeah. You know, that's, that's kind of another thing that looks like. Okay, cool. Touche, yeah. what do we got next? Touche. Let's, uh, let's go to py Pyro? Pyros? Pyros? Pyros. Pyros. And this is another two-player game. It's got all these fun little uh, balls. <laughs> this game's got balls. We can probably play this real quick. This right? game's got a lot of balls. Basically, you're trying to get your... Whoever is the last person on the top of this, basically, wins the game. And, and there's ways to kind of deduct, because you want to keep as many of your balls as possible. So, I always want to keep my balls. Basically, when you get four in a row like that, then you can take all four of those balls off, and, and then you know the person next right. person's going on. Now, so it's a, it's a get it's a one right after another. So it kind of has yeah. a tic tac toe element to it. Yeah. Is you know what I mean? Definitely, yeah. Because there's no way in this game to get two turns in a row, right? Not really. It's just no. trade off. Basically, when you get the four, if you get a square going on, then you can take your four balls off. And the person with the most balls is always the last one, so in this case, the gray would win. It's a pretty fun game. If you find it, check it out. It's interesting. Pyros. 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 I don't know. Uh, I don't know. And it's in Japanese, too, down there. Indeed. Did you get a year on this one? 1994. 94. 94, so. So, I mean, that's still a good game. Kind of new -ish. Yeah, but who heard of this game, you know? Let's uh, step over to Foresight the Game. Foresight the Game. And all these are like a dollar or something at resale shops, stuff like that. Basically, it's like another Connect Four type of game, except for it's three dimensional. You have four tiers here. So yeah. if I put mine here. Can I block you? You can block me all you want, yeah. So it's just going straight down. Or, you know, another way you could win would be is if you're going diagonal like this. Like this. Oh. Right down. Then you would have got me. I would have got you, yeah. Can I sort of. Well, I probably would have done that. But see, yeah, I see. I see. That is really, that is, that is really cool. It didn't have a slogan you say at the end, you know, though. That's the thing it's missing. Like Connect Four had, Connect Four, and then you're here, and you spill them up. This one, you're, you go, you know, Foresight. Yeah, and no, you know, no, of work. course, then there's hungry, hungry hippos that had the coolest, maybe one of the coolest commercials ever. Or remember Crossfire? Yeah. Crossfire! The two kids going at it like that. Yeah. And they really got oh, the glasses man. on and the rolled up, you know, leather jackets, and they're cool. So anyway, there's about 50 years worth of uh, great board games to check out. So if you're at resale shops, I definitely recommend. Have some family. Yeah, throw fun. a couple of those out because we could. He's got like a, you know, like he does every time when he has a particular subject he wants to cover. He brings like everything. I've got he's millions got of them. Domino knockoffs, triominoes, and stack ominoes. Those are good. Back when they were getting into electronic games, Alien Chase was a good one. A double sided, you played your opponent with. Oh, that's awesome. It is awesome. Take, Take a look at that. that is. Okay, that's pretty cool. Yeah. I Computer. mean, just judging by the. Computer Derby was a fun one. You spin around and you, you know, horses. Horse game, fun. Of course, Guess Who is an awesome game. Still around. Continues to be awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Super Spy, the electronic arm ga alarm game. That's a good one. Chess knockoff, All the King's Men. That's all the one. King's Men, very good. It's a great one, yeah. Uh, Would you like to play all the King's Men? I think I'd like to play Bargain Hunter. No! <laughs> We've had a flea market like game. Bargain Hunter. Yeah. So if you want to be a bargain hunter, look for these games. Get it? Zodiaco Match. This is kind of like a weird type of uh, Scrabble almost with, with all these weird symbols and stuff. Very trippy. And of course, it's not a board game, but Spyography. I remember we had this. Yeah, little make little spirals and stuff. That's yeah, nice if you stuff. were a parent back in the 80s and you bought your kids a uh, spirograph, yeah. your whole refrigerator would be covered in all the little drawings. That Psychedelia. The kids... <laughs> That's what it'd be, psychedelia. It was prepping kids uh, for their, uh, their first taking of LSD. Yep. Go to the head of the class is another good one. Go to the head of the class. Yeah, when I saw that one, I thought slogan. of the TV show, Head of the Class, yeah. with uh, Howard Hessman. 
Of course you did, Jeremy. And uh, Rob, a young Robin Givens. Okay, cool. This is this is all very interesting. I actually yeah. might try to ask if if we can play this later because this alien chase looks. It's, it's, it's pretty it's awesome. Pretty cool. Okay, kids, we're going to cut out for this week, but uh, before we let you go, I just want to remind you, if you love the show and you just can't get enough, you can watch us on the internet anytime you stink and want at uh, intv.me. Select shows, and then select... Uh, <laughs> and don't freak me out with my own toys, man. Your elves are bad enough. Go to shows, select Retro Americana, and boom, you can watch the show uh, commercial-free. And hey, man, if you want to send me an email and say that you like the show, you hate, you hate the show, or you think the show's in between... You can do that at uh, jscott at uh, intv.me. And, of course, you can get a hold of this guy at james at mightykind.com. Throw your website, your little email address up there. Okay, folks, uh, we'll see you next week. Let's, let's play this game. All right. Let's do, no, let's do Alien Chase. Yeah, well, we can do it. No, Alien Chase!